Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're out here at the Arkansas River again, and we're gonna try to see if we can get the revenge. And I'm out here with my buddy Stutson, and Stutson, and Windorf. And we'll be hitting the river and hopefully catch some trout. Let's get you on the chest mount. All right, guys, we're back out in the water and we're running super light today. I just got this little bag, this little Plano KVD speed top fold. And in here we have two little boxes and you already know I'm running my gold minnows. So today I'll be uh, using this guy. I got him, I saw him the other day and I was like, man, this guy could definitely kill it out here on the river. So we're gonna tie him on and then see what happens. Uh, we just rolling up already saw some fish, so I'm really hopeful today. We're gonna be able to slam um, Today is warmer than most of the other days we've been having lately, so I'm really hopeful So here I'm just using that 1 8 1 8 ball jig and I'll be putting him on Just thread him on like you normally would on any little jig There we go guys, that's it, right there. Let's go fish. All right, here we go out on the water. There's a lot of rapids here, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me, but we're gonna go up here on this, try to get on some of these rocks up here and see if we can cast down that way. We just saw some fish in this little calm area, so they might be out here as well. All right, let's get it. Same thing I do with the gulp minnows. I'm just jigging it up and down. Alright, we've kind of moved areas here. We were just over there, and now we're gonna try over here. This little bait looks pretty good, so I'm pretty confident we're gonna catch something on it. We just gotta put it in front of the right fish. Alright guys, let's give another place a try. Alright guys, I was on my way to move to a different spot, and from here I can see a little school of trout. They're kind of right between that break. I'm trying to see if I can entice him to bite. I got one, guys. <laughs> First one of the day. Right there, I saw him. Right where I saw him. There's a school of them. There's more than just this one right there. Let's try to see if we can get him netted. These trout out here are beautiful, too. Let's see if we can catch more than just this one though. Oh wow, what a beautiful fish. There he is. Look at him. Beautiful as all can be for Colorado. I kind of left my pliers up there. Alright guys, I'm going to have to go get my pliers. 
Alright guys, I got my pliers this time. Just get them unhooked. Alright buddy. Let's get these gloves off real quick. Oh, there he goes. He took off. I was trying to unhook him and he just came loose and took off. But there you go, guys. Fire Tiger, a little grub, and did it. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, we moved spots. I'm on the, I'm high ground, so. Windorf over there, he just caught one, but it came off. So let's see if we can get another one from up here. I just saw a flash over here, so I'm gonna cast over there. That was definitely a trout. You see that fish that just just took off? All right, I'm gonna try to get low, just so I'm not super visible. Oh, there's a decent sized trout, dude. If I catch this one, it's gonna be a nice one. Oh, he he's going after it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Did you see him? You see him right there? He come up. He's a decent sized trout. Did you get a bite? Oh look, he took off. He's right there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, it's a nice one. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. Right there. Right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they'll usually like flash. Like when they move around, they'll flash. And I saw a flash come over and it came this way. I don't see him anymore. That was definitely a decent sized trout though, for sure. I don't think he's dumb though. <laughs> he's, he's big because he's not dumb. There's multiple ones there. Look, I see. You see those right there? There's multiple ones right there. Woo! Dude, that's a decent sized fish, man. Oh, yeah. That's a decent sized fish. Please, come on, bite. You can do it. I might have to throw something else on real quick and see if they'll go for that. All right, time to try something else. Here we go. Oh, definitely don't want to drop all those. All right, tied on a little crankbait, a little crawfish imitation. Let's see if they go for that. They're being kind of picky right now. They'll come over to our baits, but they won't actually want to bite it. So let's see if something like this will get them to react a little bit more. Well, this is what happens when you uh, snag a tree and you're trying to cast a bait caster. So that's the end of this trout fishing trip. So it's been a couple days since I recorded this video. And as you guys can see, I finished off with a really bad backlash. And um, well, that definitely ended up ruining my whole trout fishing trip that day. I wasn't able to finish out. I didn't have extra line and I didn't have an extra bait casting reel. So, Needless to say, it was done. And going through and editing this video, um, I kind of realized some of the mistakes that could have been avoided that day. And that just goes to show that sometimes it's it's good to have an extra, either an extra reel or an extra line. 
Um, in this case, I will probably be doing both, probably just leaving that Catskin Zephyr that I have in the car and then bringing out with me some extra braided line and some fluorocarbon leader, which the fluorocarbon leaders I did have, I just didn't have the braided line. So lesson learned is make sure you guys bring some extra line uh, or an extra reel. So if this does happen, you know, you can still continue to fish. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch any more because of what happened, but we were on a school of trout and some of them were pretty aggressive. So I have no doubt in my mind that we would have caught something. Wanted to show you guys some of that footage, some of the trip. Uh, it was fun going out with my friends, having another person there, you know, videotape a different angle and just having another fishing buddy there. It was a good time. We had a blast doing it. It was a nice day. It was in the 70s. So it was just, it was a beautiful day. So no complaints. It's just little things here and there that we're learning as we go, especially with this whole like making YouTube videos. I'm not used to it. Usually I just go fish by myself or with someone else and don't worry about all these camera angles and all the things we have to do. But yeah, it's definitely something different that we're doing now. Remember guys, get out on the water, build some confidence, use some different baits. And if you're confident with one bait, heck, just throw that, catch some fish. I'll catch you guys in the next video.